when you've got a many chat account set up, you've got it linked to Instagram, we're now going to look at setting up our first automation in here, which we're going to do by a keyword. We want to use a keyword to get something going off in our Instagram. So what we want to be able to do here is we're going to obviously use the free version just to show you what you can do on the free version. And then obviously you might decide that you want to go to pro and do something a little bit more advanced. So on the free version, we can have a thousand contacts through here. As you can see, it says free contacts limit. We can have a thousand people in here before we'd have to upgrade. So first off, we're in automation and we're going to press new automation. It gives you a load of suggestions that you can do. But what we're going to do is we're just going to not use a template. And we're going to say start from scratch. So how it works, so basically with here, you can obviously use your mouse to drag things around and move around like this. Um, and we basically, it's like a flow chart. We're just gonna set things up. So this is the trigger. So this is what's gonna start the automation. So if we press press plus new trigger, you can see all the different triggers you can get. So you've got this one here where a user comments on your post or reel. You've got it when a user replies to your story, the user sends a message, clicks a referral, comments on your live. And you've got other events in here, but you can see these are only pro things that you can have where this is where you might get a tag assigned to someone based on what they did on other things. But I don't want to overcomplicate things and get you confused. We're just going to stick to the simple. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say that a user comments on your post or reel, okay? And then in here, you can see, you can choose specific ones if you want. So which post or reel do you want to use in this automation? or you could pick all posts. So this is one of the differences that you can see. So in the free version, we can actually, oh, we'd have to pick like a specific one. So we'd have to say, right, it's this one, if they reply to this one. And you'd have to set it up for each one, which is something that you kind of not want to do. So again, just showing you what the difference is between the pro and the normal version on here. So what we're going to actually do is go back, leave there. Uh, we're going to get rid of that one, because it's actually not something that's going to be handy for us to basically do, is it? So let's try again. Go to new trigger. And I want to show you what's available on this one next. So use replies to your story. So in here, you can see that when someone replies to your story and they use it contain a certain word, this is when we can obviously do something. So we can say reply contains any words or reaction or contains a specific keyword. So this is something that could be quite useful on the free version. So you could put something here such as um, magic because obviously we do magical stuff. So I'm saying if the reply includes the keywords or reaction, magic, okay? And that's when I'd want something to happen. So if someone replies to my story and they say magic, that's going to trigger it. So that would actually work quite well. So this here, you've got a delay in automation. So you'd wait so many seconds before it starts or automatically like a message with a response. But that's on the pro version. So let's look at the other triggers we've got. So we've got user sends a message. And again, this could be something where we have a keyword. So again, we can use the keyword magic. So if they reply with magic, happy days. Just to let you know, they're not case sensitive even without putting in capitals. It doesn't really matter. So again, that would be a good one that we could potentially have. So when the person messages contains magic. So now we've got two triggers. This automation will start when a user replies, say magic, to a story, or when someone sends a message, say magic. Other triggers we've got. So you've got when the user comments on your live. So again, this can be a keyword. So we could put that and we could again put magic. So if someone says magic, happy days. And the last one we've got over here is when user clicks on a referral link. So if they click on a certain link, it would trigger this automation off, um, which we, we don't really need on here. So we're just gonna leave that bit there and delete this out, happy days. So here we go, we've got three different ones here, all related to the word magic. So what we want to do now is we want it to then send a message in Instagram, okay? So if we're going to put add text, we can say what it wants to do. So we could put, great, super happy that you want to learn your magical score when it comes to your business tech. And then what I'm going to do is take them to... Uh, bah, bah, bah. I am trying to manage, remember the URL to my quiz. So let me just grab that for you. Okay, so I've just got my score app quiz. And what I'm going to do is add a button and it's going to take them then over to where we need to go. So you can see here, these are the stuff you can do on a button. So you can do something with Instagram, AI, or open a website. 
you can do other stuff, but we just like a delay, but we're just going to stick with open website. And we're going to put the URL in here and then we can then say, I want to add an action so that if they click on the button, it does something. Okay. So I'm just going to tick that because we do and press done. So on here, we're going to give the button a name as well. So we're going to put take the quiz when it comes to your business tech. All you have to do is click the button below and take our magical quiz. You'll then get a personalized report letting you know what to focus on next in your business. Let me know how you get on. Magically, yours, Laura. Happy days. So here we go. So there we've got yourself to that message. So next we're going to look at this action bit. So what you can do is if someone you know, takes, clicks that button and takes a quiz, we can then add a tag to them. So we can say, I want to add a tag to this person, which has been quiz looked at i'm just going to put that and put create so what would happen is if they would then get a tag saying that the quiz has been looked at basically and that's what we want to do now what if you wanted to have something else to happen so you could add in another step now this is where you start wanting to have the pro version because actually what you'd probably want to do is you'd probably want to have a delay in here so you might want to delay it for a couple of hours and then it send them another message but unfortunately, you can't do the delay on the free version. You can only do actions and do something else with Instagram. So send them another message, which would be a bit daft sending them a message straight, you know, straight away. So we get that message, then within a second, we get another one, like straight away. It, it really wouldn't be good, would it? Whereas actually what you probably want is some sort of delay. So you can set here some sort of delay up, but not really long 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 kind of delay so it's not very good on that so you would probably want the pro version but for a free version this is absolutely perfectly fine for what it's, it does so it basically if someone says magic it sends them a message and then if they click it it links them up so what we're going to do we're going to say set live your first automation is live it is saying so happy days we have it live so what we obviously need to do next is test this out on our phones Let's test that it works. I always can't do that on this video. But what would happen if someone sends me the word magic in a message or on a story, it would work. If you want to make this even more advanced and you want to add delays in and more messages, what you'll have to do is go to the pro version, um, which as we looked on earlier, it is $15 for the month. Um, that's affordable to me for you know for what it actually has and the potential that it has. You can calculate your monthly cost here as well. So you can say, it depends on how many contacts you do have. So like if you do have like say a thousand people every month, it goes up to $25 for instance. So it does depend on how many people you have going through to how much it is actually going to cost you. And I always advise you rename things. So this is going to be Instagram magic. I'm just going to call it magic. Magic story message live keyword. Like that so i just know what that is okay you can press the preview button here as well and it will show you what it would look like actually in there so when you look at it you might think actually i want to get some lovely things they put in there i might want to put something like personalization in like a emoji or something like that so i can see that it's in action and that's it pretty much done and dusted happy days and obviously if you upgrade pro there's more of it that you've access to which we will make sure to cover in another video